Hey guys, it's Fuzzy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my closet and I thought I would do a little vlog for you guys because I am very pregnant right now. As you will see, my belly is very, very big. And I know that I really love style and I really love fashion and I really love dressing up. But one of the things that I really dislike about being pregnant is actually dressing up because I do not want to spend for more maternity clothes. I don't want to shop anymore. I am a tita now and I have to save money for my future child. So um, I want to make do with whatever it is that I already have in my closet. And because I was such a hubadera in the past, <laughs> I don't have much <laughs> fits me. I don't have a lot of loose clothes. Most of the clothes that I have are very tight fitting or very like, I don't know, just very showy. And I don't feel like being showy when you're pregnant. I don't know it's just, if it's just me. But I will try my best to dress up and show you guys how I dress up and make myself feel better even when I'm pregnant without the use of maternity clothes. So I did not buy myself anything from the maternity section, only one sweater that I used when I was in Korea, but that was because I just needed a sweater that fit me. Aside from that, um, I've only gotten like a gift from my mom, which is like a maternity, pair of maternity leggings. And I borrowed clothes from my bestie who also did not shop for maternity clothes. She just went shopping for bigger sizes. And so it is a bit of a challenge to find clothes that fit you, especially since me, I'm so used to being petite. I'm so used to finding clothes that, like, if I look at this piece, I already know how it's gonna look like on my body because I'm just so used to shopping for clothes that fit my body. But since my body keeps changing every single day, it becomes harder and harder and harder. And so today, you will join me as I will try my best to make maternity happen. <laughs> All right, guys, first things first, we're gonna start with something that you would wear to the office. Now I have so many different skirts, like pencil skirts, A-line skirts, mini skirts, you name it. But the problem is because they are all, the only thing that they're holding onto is your waist, right? So when I was thinner, when my waistline was smaller, all of this was like 24 inch waist. And now my waist is like 29, 30. So you need a kasha. So what I do is, let's say I'll take a pencil skirt. I love wearing pencil skirts because they make me feel sexy even though they're long, so they don't really show much of your body, but they are still very girly, feminine, and flirty, which I like. So right now I'm wearing like stretchy pants from Uniqlo. They are the only ones that fit me. Some of my pajama bottoms don't even fit me anymore, even if they're garter. And this one, it fits me perfectly, but you can see like garter marks already. So this is my trick for you guys. So I'm gonna wear it. All right, guys, it's on. Successful. Successful skirt. Try on. The thing is, it won't zip anymore. The back is open. Then try to zip it and show you until where it goes. Okay, it only goes until there. But my next technique is to find a blazer because blazers usually they're oversized. Right, get the oversized one because the more oversized it is, the smaller you look. You're welcome. Let's say I want to use this beige blazer. It's very oversized. This is one of my favorite blazers ever, ever. And not only will it hide the zipper that is open on my back, it will also hide the bra straps that are showing right now on my top. Because when you're pregnant, not only does your stomach grow, your boobs grow too. So your bras don't fit you anymore. So I only have like two bras or three bras that I have on rotation and strapless is not one of them. And so this is how I successfully, ta-da, make an office look using the clothes I already have in my closet. You can tie it together by scrunching up your sleeves. And see, I don't even look pregnant because this blazer is humongous. Ties everything together, still makes me look feminine. And if I wear low heels, because a lot of you always tell me, don't wear high heels when you're pregnant. You're gonna trip, you're gonna fall, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm gonna limit it to like an inch the block heel, so it's easier. You can wear something like this. See, very safe for pregnant and very cute. You can wear it together and it will make your outfit look super cute. All right, the next thing that I have for you is a casual everyday look. Starting off with sweats. This one I actually got from Kuyukai, they're Adidas. 
and they were so big, but now that I'm pregnant, they fit me perfectly. So I think now is the perfect time to ukay actually just wear a mask because you are very highly susceptible to all the diseases. Your immune system is down when you're pregnant. But I think it's time to go to ukay ukay because there's so many oversized pieces in ukay ukay that can actually use your advantage. And because it's so much cheaper than buying retail, it's perfect for this temporary phase in your life. So this jogging pants I will wear with, it's kind of like an everyday look. I will wear it with top like this. It's a wrap top and I know the jogging pants are kind of sporty and this wrap top is kind of feminine and girly, but we will try our best to make it work with accessories. Now I'm going to change real quick. Now this is the look that I would call I'm pregnant but still hanging on to my youth. <laughs> This top I really like because if you ever are in the market to buy something for your maternity, a lot of people suggested to me that you should buy something that you can actually also use postpartum. And because this one has very easy access to your boobs or to your girls, then you can also use it while you're breastfeeding after your pregnancy. And the reason why I like this is because it doesn't really matter what size you get. This is a size small and usually a size XS and that's already a big jump for me. But because it is a wrap top, you kind of are the one who, who decides like how the width should be. Like you can decide how loose you want it, how tight you want it. You can pin it if you don't want to show too much boobs or you can just let it free if you want to breastfeed. It's so easy. And because this top has like all these roughly details over here, it juxtaposes perfectly with these very sporty and very casual cargo pants, not cargo pants, jogging pants. And I would even go as far as say you can wear pearls to this look. You can wear pearls to this look. That was a little bit too intense. <laughs> and maybe even like dad sneakers if you're the type because it's just kind of a feminine meets sporty kind of look that I think goes really, really well together. The next look I'm going to show you is something that you can take out to a dinner party or a dinner date or maybe even cocktails. It's a little bit more dressy. It's so pretty. It is not a maternity dress, but because of the cut and the style, it will fit your pregnant belly. The only tightness I find is right over here, but because I got it in a bigger size than my usual, um, it gives enough room for my expanding belly to grow. The only thing is it's backless, which I'm not very comfortable um, showing at this point in my life. I feel like I have more back fat now that I need to hide and also my bra is showing. So a trick that I like to do to avoid also looking too wide, especially in photos, is to add a layer. So the layer that I'm going to add is a vest. Now this is an old black vest that I have and you will see instantly how slimming it is. Ta-da! Makes me look like I'm not even pregnant at all. And it just also hides enough boobage, so just a little bit of showing. And this is like one of my perfect techniques, easiest techniques to disguise your belly bump or dress it up a bit. If you want to accentuate your belly bump, you can go for a very tight dress and then top it off with an oversized blazer that also looks really good and I'm going to show you in just a bit. Okay, so this makes me look really pregnant. This is actually a maternity top from Blanky, but you can use any like tank top that you have that stretches all the way down or like any t-shirt dress that you have that is a little bit more tight fitting if you really want to show your bump in all its glory. And I would not be confident enough to go out just wearing this because I do feel like there are too many curves going on and it's just so tight fitting. So what I would do is grab like a really long trench to kind of balance everything off. So wear it like this. And instantly it just shows the curves that I want to show, like my boobs, my belly, and that's it. Less like of the back fats and less of the things here. It's also the more flattering option. Again, I'm going to roll my sleeves to make it look a little bit more casual. And if you want to take away from your belly and not focus, not focus on it too much, then you can also add some accessories that will take the conversation elsewhere. So I have this hat with me. I will just wear it like this, maybe pop on some white rubber shoes and like a maybe a backpack and call it a day. And last but not the least is my Tita look. <laughs> this is so extra. It's so not me, but it's also so flattering and it fits my belly so much. I feel like it's because my belly is big, but so are these sleeves and there's so much room. It cinches my belly just in the right place. It doesn't really show the curve here. So it just makes me look like 
I'm a normal person, <laughs> which I really, really like sometimes. I don't want people to look at me and just say, oh, she's pregnant. Like, I just want to be invisible most of the time. So um, this, I'm so happy. This is by Summer Style X Revolve. It's really, really nice. It's very comfortable. And I feel like this is something that, again, I can wear postpartum or even when I'm eight, nine months pregnant because you can tie it, you can wrap it by yourself. Um, and this is also something that you can dress up or down. Like if I wear sneakers with it and a ponytail and a backpack, it's dressed down. But if I wear it with like real jewelry and like a fancy bag and like heels, then I can dress it up and use it to go to events. And I really, really enjoyed this look as well. All right, guys, those are all the outfits that I have for you today. I hope that if you are stuck in a closet rut, you don't know what to wear, or in a shopping rut, you don't know what to buy like I was, I hope this gives you a little bit more insight onto what is flattering for pregnant bellies or postpartum bellies. And I hope that you can also take this as a little bit of an inspiration to take care of yourself and dress up and make yourself feel good and feel comfortable. You deserve it. If you're pregnant, it doesn't mean that you just wear big t-shirts and leggings every single day. You can still be your best self because you deserve it, hot mama. And also, I would say if there is maybe a tip that you can take away from this video, it's definitely to invest in blazers and vests because those are super slimming and you can wear it no matter how big your belly gets. And also to stick to colors that are like on the neutral side, like blacks if you want to be slimmer or um, vertical stripes or stay away from like big bold prints because those can really overpower your frame especially if you're a petite girl like me so i hope all those tips have been useful for you i hope this has been an inspiring video and give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next one bye Mwah.